So in today's video I do apologise for the coat, this background here and how random the setup is and how my head's slightly chopped off but today we are going to be doing a how to revise drama. Drama is one of those subjects I don't think many people actually know how to properly learn and how to revise. So we're going to start by steps like there's learning it for the first time then there's going over it and then there's checking your knowledge so this will apply to like all kinds of the spectrum so the first thing you need to do is this is my script for a show just to come on. and now I have a to-do list so you need to in order to do this Prioritise. Like, priorities should be reading your lines, writing them out. Would be good to get down, done, is go through all of the plays in the script, even the ones you're not in. Make sure I know the content, like make sure you do know the content. But you've got to be doing those two things, because these are going to be what you, how you learn them. Then the not very urgent but do need to get to be done is test myself by writing them out. Blurting is the technique. So I'm going to be using this revision technique called blurting. And practicing saying them out loud. And then that's basically my to do list. So what you'd do is you'd literally read through this and you'd make something called units and objectives. Units and objectives is sort of thinking about your character and um, writing about your character and sort of making notes basically. Like the woman in this play, Human Nature, because we're doing King Arthur's Socks and other village plays, goes, no, no, we must not. And the stage direction is, but they do. I know that needs to be ten times funnier, but it's actually really hard when there's like nobody. And then the guard, would, which is my other part, is, ah, oh, here you are. Thought you'd given us the slip. Did you escape from the asylum? He did, a week ago. And he got a job here. We've been hunting him high and low. Come along now. Matter with him? He went crazy. He did, reading the works of Bernard Shaw, and if it wasn't for the insane asylum, he'd be in jail. He's a bigamist. He is. He married 14 women. But none of them would go and stand on the witness against him. Said he was an ideal husband. They did. 14 of them. But otherwise, he's perfectly harmless. So to try and get that off book, this is important to try and get off book. So now you've sort of read the lines, done the units and objectives, you need to write it out so you can assign it. So this is what I do normally, I will show you. Now I'm not going to show you that because my hand would hurt, because I'm going to show you like blurting. So now you've sort of learned all the content and that and gone through all the other plays and now we move on to called blurting which is where you take a piece of paper which I've got in front of me and you literally have to write out your lines and see if you can remember them and then you make your corrections so I will just do that as an example Try and also get the correct punctuation because, and don't give it, and correct your punctuation is what I'd say. So this needs to come from memory. You don't have to put a timer on, you just need to try and do it from memory. You can put a timer on, but to be honest, you need to try and get memory first before time. Like, doing it really quickly and just having to correct light loads, because you've not given yourself time to remember it. And make sure you use a different colour pen to do your corrections. 
and I will show you what it looks like when I've done obviously a glimpse of what I've done can be any piece of paper you want it to be from scrap to like this but make your writing legible is one thing I would say otherwise you can't really learn from it
um, that bothered quite a while. A blur will look like that. And you go in the script, put the different colour in, do your corrections. So this is me going through my script. This is an example of what a blur will typically look like. That was like my first ever piece of blur to my done. Only make sure you check them like crisp. About making sure you use like different colours and stuff. Alright, so I've just gone through, done my corrections, so now that's what my blurt looks like. Blurting is quite a good technique. I, I find it quite a useful technique to do, and it's just one of those things that will really help see what you need to work on, where your gaps in your knowledge are, and what you don't know in advance because you need to be able to recite it off book like literally I could still probably recite some from the last show to Lorne of the Wells because I just I didn't do blurting but I wrote it out a lot so I can now probably still recite some of it but I won't so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below any video suggestions. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.